Welcome to another language lesson where we'll explore the art of expressing opinions, that is, agreeing and disagreeing. Opinions are like spices in conversation, but for a healthy discussion, they should be informed by facts, evidence, or data. Today, we will delve into the structures, phrases, and sentences in English that help you effectively agree or disagree. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Practice using polite and respectful language when expressing opinions. Develop the ability to provide reasons and justifications for opinions. Independently express opinions on various topics using appropriate language. And refine language proficiency through feedback and self-reflection. Let's get started. When it comes to expressing opinions, starting with the right sentence is key. Whether you agree or disagree, use these starters. From I prefer to some people say that, these starters lay the foundation for a well-structured opinion. Now let's personalize your perspective. Expressing your opinion becomes more impactful when it's from your point of view. Check out these phrases. I have seen, in my experience, or personally, I believe, add the personal touch to your opinions. It's not always about agreeing. Sometimes you need to respectfully disagree. Here's how. From maybe, but it seems to me that, or I completely disagree, to me, these phrases help you voice your different perspective. Clarity is crucial in communication. If there's confusion, use these phrases to clarify your stance. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. Or, what I mean is, ensures everyone is on the same page. Now, let's tackle the heart of the matter, agreeing and disagreeing. Whether you're on the same page or not, these phrases have your back. From you're absolutely right to, well, I think it's not as simple as that, these phrases help navigate the waters of agreement and disagreement. Sometimes, it's not just about agreeing or disagreeing. It's about suggesting solutions. Here are some phrases for making suggestions. I suggest you should or how about these phrases guide the conversation toward constructive solutions. And of course, responding to suggestions is equally important. Let's see how you can do that. Sounds good to me or you're right are positive ways to respond while it's a good idea but allows room for constructive critique. That wraps up our lesson on expressing opinions, agreeing and disagreeing. Remember, effective communication involves not just stating your opinion but doing so in a way that fosters healthy discussion. Practice these phrases and soon you'll be able to master expressing your thoughts in English. Thanks for joining us today and happy conversing. Hashtag Grammar Matters.